The Northwestern Wildcats shocked the seventh ranked Badgers, just their second loss in conference play. A potentially historic victory for the Wildcats. What a ball game, what a win. With the number of games remaining in the Wildcats' regular season running out, so too is the time left for Sanjay Lumpkin's pursuit of a second Northwestern degree. Um, just this past summer, I started my master's in sports administration. Just, just finishing that off, it's great. You know that it all worked out for my fifth year to be able to. Obviously, get out of here with a you know an, an undergrad degree and be able to get my master's too uh, is awesome, awesome opportunity I've had. The soft-spoken team captain's work ethic and versatility have often drawn the praise of Chris Collins, who has referred to Lumpkin as the heart and soul of this Northwestern basketball team. We've been through, been through a lot together, uh, been on a lot of teams, and it's, you know, I, I feel like I bring that to the table, and I, I can be here for the younger guys. Uh, I think back to when, you know, my freshman year, the role that Drew Crawford played for me, and, and I feel like I can, you know, pass that on to the younger guys now, be there for them. All the, you know, all the things they've gone through or yet to go through, I've pretty much already been through all of that. You know, just you know, being there for all the guys, being there for all my boys, and uh, just you know, doing, doing anything I need to do for the program. That's pretty much what I've been all about the whole time I've been here. I mean, obviously my, you know, my time here is winding down. Um, just wanna, wanna be able to look back and know that you know, left everything, left everything out there, you know, for the team, for the program. Want to have the best season we can have this year and uh, just want to, you know, top it off and make it the most special year as possible. Can I cut one? Yeah, you cut one. Yeah, just cut it. Cut straight line right there. I'm I did it pretty good. No, cut it again. Cut it In the middle? Nathan Taphorn is the Wildcats' okay. only other senior, an experienced sharpshooter who brings tenacity to the floor. Off the court, Taphorn has a hobby that his teammates and friends can enjoy. Especially his roommate and senior counterpart. Sanjay, I, I don't know if he can make anything else besides like a PB&J or maybe like a grilled cheese. And he claimed he made eggs a couple times, but I, I'd have to see it for myself, to be honest. Sanjay and I have been through a lot together, and I think that's kind of why we care so much about this program and it just from the start we knew it was not going to be easy. Even though I wasn't recruited by coach, he, even when I came in my freshman year he said, I don't care who you're recruited by, you're my guy. But, uh, one of the best pieces of advice I've ever gotten was if somebody's not on you and they stop talking to you, they stop caring about you. And coach has really never stopped talking to me or coaching me up. So Sanjay and I, and we've had a blast being here. I will miss every part of this. After dropping two straight games, the Wildcats are faced with their biggest challenge of the season. It would require a well-executed game plan to take down the seventh-ranked Wisconsin Badgers. What is he? He's coming off. When half is out, he's getting a screen to come in. Throw it in. Red, 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 red. Good. Good. Good job. We have to have great energy. We have to have great focus. 
and we got to play. We got to play angry. Mm -hmm. This isn't a game you just play. It's a game you fight in. But that's how we win this game. We got to outfight them. Oh, All right, mm -hmm. let's be ready to go. Come on, let's go. Here. Ready? Toughness on three. One, two, three. Toughness. Well, they have certainly been good historically against Northwestern at the Kohl Center. You saw the record for the Wildcats, 1-14 and 14 all time there. No, you can't beat them, Mike, because they are the most veteran ball club in the Big Ten. Experience has been the key for them. This team has won 28 straight games against unranked opponents. We talked about being different. We got an opportunity right in front of us to be different. I believe we can win. Everybody has to believe we can win, and we got to show it with our fight on every possession. Just be us at our best. We don't have to be anything else. And we've been that team for 20 plus games. If we're that, we'll do something really good here tonight. All right, let's go. Fight for 40 minutes. Fight for 40 minutes. Toughness on three. One, two, three. Toughness. There's a screen from Parton for McIntosh. Open at the top of the launch at 18 footer. Good. Long deuce for Brian McIntosh. Cats lead 2 0 off the Parton screen. Half stand with it. Going baseline with a reverse. Ends up hosting Parton against Half. Gets inside. A little right hand jumper. Good. Seven to shoot. Thomas with the three. McIntosh in the lane. Little jumper good by Brian McIntosh. He's got six. That was not an easy shot either. No, but he does that so well. There's not a lot of guys that have that floater. Nigel Hayes, high arcing shot back to home. Not the smoothest offense for either team, no. But Wisconsin with a seven point lead. It's our ball. It's our ball coming out. We're fine. Wisconsin jumped out to an early lead, throwing the first punch. The Wildcats would counter with a scoring flurry, putting the Badgers on their heels. Trace in trouble, and he threw it away. Threw it right to Derek Martin. Great defense by the Cats. McIntosh to Law with the open look. Gives Northwestern their first lead since two to nothing. Spins to his right, out to Taphorn, three ball, good! Taps hit two in a row, a 13-0 run. They lead by six. Hayes, tough shot, all kinds of traffic, and Lumpkin kicks it ahead. Here's Long, the hop step, the skip to Taphorn, and the three goes down once more. A 16-0 run. The scoring run came in just three and a half minutes. The Wildcats had the lead with excellent play on both sides of the floor. The defense caught the attention of eyes across the country. An upset was in the making. Our defense has been terrific. Everybody who's come in has done a great job. And, and the Reds have been really good. The Reds have been really good, and then you get out. And just remember who we're closing to. We got to get our rest. We got to get our water. Talk the game. We got 20 more minutes to go. Double comes. Good pass to Nigel Hayes. And Wisconsin has the lead 32 31. The second half started off the same as the first. Wisconsin hit the Cats with a 10-point swing. We're fine. They came out with energy. They hit a couple shots. We put our own 10-point run yeah, together. Yeah. As quickly as the Badgers hit the Wildcats, Northwestern punched right back. Well, remember, Northwestern started slow in this game, came right back and took the lead at halftime as Law hits the three, the first field goal of the second half, comes from behind the arc. It's a big shot, but it's a great find by Brian McIntyre. 
think the difference the way Northwestern's doubling, they're bodying into him and rather than giving him space to turn and see the floor, I think the double teams are extremely effective. Give a go, Lumpkin layup, good. Northwestern answering right back. Akash to Law, drives to the basket. The follow good, a dunk by Parton. Pats lead by seven. And the bench react is great. Akash moves left, chased by Panic, gets a screen from Parton. Magnificent win. Yes. Yes. Magnificent win. You guys, we were so tough mm -hmm. and we withstood every run they tried to throw at us. I believe in all you guys. And look, that's why, <coughs> look, it, this was a team effort. No, and everybody had to make plays. Mm -hmm. Everybody had to make plays. I'm really proud. It was so fun to be your coach tonight because I saw great looks. I saw determination. I saw fight. I saw confidence. And I love that. And you guys, you guys have done, even in losses, you guys bust your ass every night. And, and as a coach, man, I'm going to get mad at certain things, but you're going you're gonna to win more than you lose if we play that hard. We can't, though, like the world isn't won just because we beat Wisconsin tonight. Okay. Okay. You know, we, we made it up, and now we're going home for two. Yep. Yep. Adam, left. Was there a moment this week where you, you kind of knew you had them back and refocus to know that you could bring them in here and have a chance to win? A lot of teams can feel sorry for themselves when they have their leading scorer out uh, with illness and uh, things look like they're kind of falling apart. It shows a lot of character from us and that's all we talked about is just being strong together and having a belief in ourselves that we could accomplish something special. Western and Maryland should be a great one tonight. This is a Northwestern squad that had maybe one of the best defensive efforts we've seen recently from this program. When you've only played two-thirds of a basketball conference season, there's still so much left to be sure. played for. But it was really about putting the foundational pieces together, that we were going to do it one year at a time. And each recruiting class would help us show us the map of how to have some success. And I think it's exactly what we had hoped for. This is not a game you work your way into. This is a game you come out playing defense. We got to make it a blue collar game. They got to feel us on defense. They got to know every possession that we're going to fight on that end of the floor. We have to play with confidence, courage, and poise. Confidence, courage, and poise. If there's a shot to take, take it. If there's a play to be made, make it. You know, shoot, shoot your bullets with confidence, attack with your instincts, but play smart. That's all we're saying. Play smart and play together. Can Maryland knock in the open three? When they are shooting the three well, they are unbeatable. They've only lost one road game. As the Cats get it in, Sanjay Lumpkin to Derek Parton for a two-hand slam, and it's 2-0. Trimble around the screen, and Mello Trimble hits. A great start for Maryland, a 9-0 run. Brown, three ball, got it. Brown knows he's not coming out of the game, so he's got loads of confidence right now. I don't know how Brown saw him. He threw that through three hands. Now he gets a screen, triple does. Three ball and drained it. Every time we score, they come down and hit a three. Let's get it under 10. Goes to Sanjay, shovels to Taphorn, left wing three. Good! Nathan Taphorn, as usual, knocks down his first three point attempt, and it's 22 to 14. Triple, 
15 points, 10 of them coming in the last 9-15. Inside, Hartley throws it down. They've had some good success, has Northwestern, on that triple drive action. It's been very difficult for Northwestern to get a clean look. And he hits the ball up. Seven points for Big Law. And Brown going to take it himself. And he draws the foul and gets it to go. With freshman guard Isaiah Brown coming off the bench to score a career-high 19 points, the Cats inch closer late in the game. But it was the career night for the Terrapins' mellow triple that proved too much to overcome. If you won eight rounds, you've been knocked down five times. What do you want to do in the, in the 14th round? We just got knocked to the canvas. We going to get up and fight, or are we going to let somebody else come in and knock us down? After winning six straight conference games, the Wildcats dropped three of their last four. Playing once again at Welsh Ryan Arena and welcoming back their leading scorer, Northwestern faced visiting Rutgers and a chance to tie the school record for wins in a regular season. Hart's green set by Parton for McIntosh who dumps it to Parton on the pick and roll for the dunk and the Cats lead 2-0. Off the rim, tipped up by Parton. No, Parton got it back, muscles it up, got it and a foul. Derek Parton, the and one. Accelerating, kicking, tap horn, left wing three. Good, Nathan tap horn. First three pointer for the Wildcats. McIntosh, lead pass, law for the dunk. The half court alley oop from McIntosh. And the Wildcats go up by seven. The Scarlet Knights would battle back eventually taking the lead. With under four minutes to play, Northwestern still remained a possession away from tying the game. Started to drive, Brown, no look feed, Skelly, right pocket three, good! Three pointer, Gavin Skelly, one point game, 63-62, 1.57 to go. With 19 to shoot, a minute to go, pulls up, three ball, good! Cats lead it! 65, 63, 58 seconds to go, timeout, Chris Collins. The ball game is over, and the Wildcats win. And for the fourth time in Northwestern history, the Wildcats have won 20 games. This one may have been the toughest of their Big Ten wins this year, but they get it done 69-65. Um, you know, I absolutely love this atmosphere, you know, and Welsh Ryan's an amazing place to play it now. You know, I don't know if it's ever been like this. We had to grind this game out. There's no question about it. We had to dig down really deep and find a way, and really proud of my team for doing that. The victory over Rutgers moves Chris Collins and his Wildcats one step closer to becoming the program he has been building since 2013. The embodiment of this process can be seen everywhere around Welsh Ryan Arena, and is best reflected in the poem by Jacob Reese, The Stonecutter's Credo. When nothing seems to help, I go and look at a stone cutter, hammering away at his rock, perhaps a hundred times, without as much as a crack showing it. Yet at the hundred and first blow, it will split in two. And I know it was not that blow that did it, but all that had gone before. Sure. You know, Had to throw the black and white on it. Hey, Show hey, the, yeah. the, the dunk. The dunk.